Hi everyone, welcome to a special episode of SG Good Life. Today I'm going to teach you how to make McDonald's chicken nuggets that is just like the real thing. My friends and I tried many different brands, but there was one brand that came uncannily close to the real thing, and I suspect it is. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you the various things to make it very close to the real deal. So this is the brand that we found to be very close. It's called Freeze Pack. And it even comes with the shape, the four different McDonald's nugget shapes, which I'll introduce to you later. Secondly, you will need to use canola oil, because that's what the McDonald's in Singapore uses, canola, canola oil. And for the garlic chili sauce, the condiment, it is the Sinsin garlic chili sauce. All right? Although the new packet down doesn't say it's made from since in the old one does and the new one says it's a product of Malaysia but the taste is I can assure you the taste is similar so without further ado I'm going to cook the nuggets for you and then later on I'll elaborate more on the shapes and I'm gonna do a, a slice through to show you what the nuggets is like the important thing is that you have to fry it because when I uh, grilled it it just didn't taste the same in fact I even went to my friends I told them uh, look, you know, this is not McDonald's chicken nugget, but I didn't fry it. And the thing that clicked, really clicked for me was when I found out the ball shape. So, McDonald's has this uh, ball shape, and that's when I realized, hey, you know, this might be the real thing. Because my friend, is, my friend insisted that this was the real thing. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to teach you how to cook it just like the way McDonald's does. The first thing you have to do when you're deep frying nuggets is to pour enough so that it at least covers the entire nugget. So right now, I'm pouring a good amount. All right, okay, I think roughly about there, right? When oil gets heated, it usually expands a little. So this would suffice. Maybe I'm just gonna pour a bit more because it looks like it's not gonna cover everything, okay. So right now, I have my oil filled to, the, to cover the nuggets and let's heat it up. Over here, you can see the various shapes. This is the bowl, this is the boot, this is the bell, and this is the bowl. This is an induction cooker. I normally set my induction cooker to the highest before lowering it to either eight or nine. Okay, so my oil is roughly ready. This one takes a bit of experience, but you can roughly tell when the oil uh, is uh, kind of not really still, okay? So right now, I'm gonna test the first one and then if it goes down well, I'm gonna lower the heat. So let's test the first one now. Okay, it's bubbling a lot. I'm gonna reduce it a bit to number seven. So this is a good bubble. I'm gonna put the rest in slowly. And gently put it in. As you can see, I put in, I put a paper behind because I want to make sure that uh, my cleaning is a bit easier later. If not, the whole place is going to be really oily. Okay, so just gently put it in and cook it for three to six minutes. For me, I'm aiming for roughly about between four to five minutes. Okay, but it also depends on how hot your oil is. So as long as it's golden brown. So just go put in uh, one more. You can see it's bubbling. It's been roughly about five minutes and I'm just going to turn off the heat. If you notice something with fresh oil, is that fresh oil doesn't produce a very brown uh, and super dark brown and charred fried food because the oil is fresh. Okay, so fresh oil is always gives you a, a nice golden brown color without being uh, overdone. Okay, so right now my nuggets are ready, ready. it's roughly about 5 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my, my plate closer and then I'm just going to put it, okay, let the oil drain a bit and then put it one by one. If you notice that I've already turned off the induction because I don't need it to continue cooking. Anyway, the residual heat will give, me, will give the last uh, give the nuggets the golden brown in the last few seconds. Okay, so drain it and then take it off slowly.
Okay guys, let's analyze these four nuggets. You'll see that there are four different shapes. McDonald nuggets also has four different shapes. We have here the boot, the ball, the bell, and the bone. It's probably made from the same factory. I have no guarantee. But based on the taste test that my friends and I have been trying, we are 99% certain that it is McDonald's nuggets. So if you're missing the taste of McDonald's nuggets, you can find the packet that I showed you just now. Okay, now I have my nuggets with me. I'm going to have a try and dip it in the garlic chili sauce. Mm. Just like the real thing. I hope you enjoyed the video on uh, McNuggets. So the major question is, where can we find this brand? Well, you can find this brand on Sheng Xiong and on Q10 and on other websites. Uh, I, I bought it from specifically from Sheng Xiong. And right now, there is a promotion from April to June on this MCO Visa card. So this card gives you 10% rebate on your supermarket. Uh, deals from FairPrice and Sheng Xiong, but I got this from Sheng Xiong. So when you, when you sign up using my referral link below, you'll get 50 USD free when you stake 50 MCO or more. So right now, I've been getting 10% on, on uh, all my supermarket purchases. All right? uh, and of course, the card itself comes with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5% on other uh, rebate on other purchases uh, uh, apart from the supermarkets. So it's a fantastic card that I use every day for, for bars, for train and right now because we're pretty much stuck at home I use it for at the supermarkets so I hope you uh, found it useful and stay tuned for more uh, updates and remember to like share and subscribe if you haven't already